Hello friends, good posture is expression of inner self, posture is communication, posture is gesture or good posture de depends on so many aspects uh, of the information processed by the periphery. Here I am going to express my interpretation of what is postural control. Postural control is the term used to describe the way our central nervous system regulates the sensory information from the other parts of the body or from the other systems of the body to maintain a normal upright posture or to enhance or to facilitate the motor control to in such a pattern that uh, an upright posture can be maintained or upright control may, can be maintained, may it be the static or may it be the dynamic. And this postural control de depends on the three important mechanisms, the visual pathways, the vestibular mechanisms and the third is the somatosensory mechanisms. There are two main goals of, uh, uh, there are two main goals of uh, postural control. The first is postural orientation and the second is said to be the postural equilibrium. Now what is postural orientation? Just for an example, it is concerned with uh, the, in, it, it is mainly involved with the alignment and tone of the body with reference to the surface on which the body is or it is dependent on the visual environment or it can also be with reference to the gravity. So all these three dimensions can have a great role to play as far as postural orientation is concerned. So as for example, we have to maintain more control if we are on a slippery surface. We have to maintain more control when we are climbing down the stairs rather than when we are climbing up the stairs or a person who is visually handicapped or visually challenged will have to have more balance and more support system to maintain the postural uh, control. So postural orientation is an important aspect for stability. And what do we mean by postural equilibrium? So here it is with reference to the coordination of the sensory motor strategies to have stability and control while we are performing activities. So here it refers to the dynamic activities, dynamic postural control strategies that is being discussed. So we are standing but when we initiate, we start walking, when we start uh, walking up hills, when we st start climbing up hills or start climbing downhill or we climb up and down the stairs or when we turn around, it requires more of postural equilibrium. So postural control, all these strategies needs to be understood when we take care of the patients in our rehabilitation programs. Coming to the first uh, strategy that, which is important for postural control is the visual. Visual pathways, the visual field, the visual environment is said to be the key element for postural control. So um, when we say about the visual uh, pathways and the visual strategies, we mean to uh, understand, we need to understand the two important aspects, the gaze fixation and the gaze shifting. Gaze fixation is when the gaze is fixed, when the head is moving and when uh, to moving object and, and gaze shifting is the gaze shifts along with the moving object. So gaze has a very important role to play uh, when we want uh, stability and balance. I would just like to give a simple example on this area. Uh, suppose uh, a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler, the gaze is to see and the feet are to feel. Now the feet are like the wheels of a vehicle and our vision is just like a steering wheel. So now suppose if the tire are flattened, if the tire is punctured or if the wheels are not balanced and the steering wheel is functioning, it will not serve any purpose, the vehicle will not move forward. 
so our foot stability foot uh, placement kinesthetic awareness of the foot is very very important for postural stability so is the visual uh, acuity and vision now suppose if the wheels are absolutely sound the wheels are sturdy the wheels are properly placed but if the steering wheel is fixed if the steering wheel is rigid if the steering wheel is not functioning properly then also the vehicle will not move so our eyes act like a steering wheel so visual acuity is very very important for maintaining sound postural control because it has been said that the visual information definitely aids in postural stability of a person so vision has a very important role to play for postural control the second is the vestibular uh, strategies or vestibular pathways now vestibular pathways helps the body to align with reference to the vertical deviations vertical placements with reference to the gravitational forces so it requires our alignment to be maintained when you are climbing up an inclined surface or when you are climbing down the inclined surface so that requires our vestibular systems to be active our postural adjustment systems to be active and the third is is what is said to be the somatosensory uh, inputs or somatosensory strategies for maintaining postural control so our uh, the way our body position is uh, the the way the brain receives the status of the body position based on that the motor responses are uh, given to maintain stability and control of a posture they are all said to be under the control of our uh, somatosensory system so it has been rightly said that for postural control the integration of the somatosensory uh, pathways and the integration between the somatosensory pathways with the cervical spine with the vestibular and with the visual is necessary so as to maintain and have good postural control and balance now how can you make out that a person has poor postural control it's by observation i always say that a good physiotherapist need to have good observational skills rather than examination uh, perspective so if the, if you observe of a person who is always slouching a person who is always leaning on the top of the table to sit or a person while shifting the weight in sitting goes off balance or if a person has a pot belly or if a person stands and walks with knee bent position or if the person stoops in standing or a person is very uncomfortable or has a uh, great fear on seesaws or on swings or a person has constantly been complaining of fatigue pain patterns or if the person has lack of balance uh, in all the activities of normal day to day activities also it is a very important sign of poor postural control and how can uh, we control this how can we improve this postural control is by postural position all postures all close kinematic strengthening programs can do wonders for improving postural control second way is definitely um, focusing on yoga postures and breath awareness that also helps on all the three strategies the visual the vestibular and the somatosensory also at the same time along with that if you go for cognitive behavior therapy uh, for postural control also has a very important role to play because emotional poise and balance goes hand to hand but if the person is emotionally unstable is is very uh, easily vulnerable to strain stress mental stress can also go off balance and that we have seen in many hindi movies that when a uh, female or when uh, is little disturbed and she singing a song she tries to hold a curtain or a tree while singing a song because that is not that she is not in postural control but at present her postural stability is affected because of unstable emotions 
So emotions also have a very important role to play. So cognitive behavior therapy also can be very useful in uh, developing or improving social control of an individual. Along with that, you can encourage the person to go to listening to good music, uh, which can improve emotional poise and balance, which can ultimately have good uh, effect on the postural control. So postural control is a very important aspect for all our rehabilitation programs, definitely for the neuromuscular rehab programs, but also for musculoskeletal pain syndromes and also with the cardiopulmonary uh, rehab programs. Pushul control has a very great significance for management and strengthening of our sports therapy programs, also sports medicine program also, because movement begins in a posture and ends in a posture. And always I have said proximal stability before distal mobility. So if the posture is stable, if the control is good, definitely mobility can be gained in all directions uh, very, very skillfully. Thank you.